Hey, East View family, Jason Sniff here. Welcome to Friday. I hope that you've had a, a great week so far, particularly in spending time uh, in the book of John. We're gonna, in just a moment, look at John 1, one last time. Um, but first, I'm wondering if you've ever felt this before. So have you ever been in a place uh, where you just have literally said these words, I need a miracle, or Lord Jesus, please make this happen. You're, you're in a spot in which you just need some intervention. And um, I'm currently in that spot. Our family, um, love our family. Team Sniff is awesome, as I refer to them. Uh, we are um, crazy, but amazing. And it's because of Jesus. And we're just going through some things with one of our, our teenage sons. And I've literally said this this week, like, Jesus, we need a miracle. And uh, that <laughs> can be a difficult place at times. And so... I um, want to take a look at John 1. Maybe there's something here for us today in the midst of this. But just as a reminder, at the very end of John, Jesus is talking with Nathaniel. And he's calling Nathaniel to follow him. And in the midst of that, he's revealing why and who um, he is to Nathaniel. And there's something for you and I here today. I'm looking at John 1, verse 51. And he, Jesus, says to Nathaniel, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. A couple of quick things here. Um, that word you is plural. And so, yeah, Jesus is talking to Nathaniel, but he's talking to all of us. And that's why this is relevant for you and I in this moment today. And so it's for all of us, but also um, Jesus is making a connection that we may not fully understand right now, but Nathaniel would. Because all the way back in Genesis 28, a guy by the name of, name of Jacob had a dream. And in that dream, uh, he saw a ladder between the earth and heaven and angels ascending and descending, going up and down, back and forth between heaven and earth, up and down. And so Jesus is directly quoting Genesis 28. And he's making a connection for Nathaniel, making a connection for you and I, that Jesus is that ladder, that he's the link between what we sense and feel and know right now here on earth and what is true and right about heaven and God's kingdom is that it's Jesus. He's the link. He's the ladder. And literally Jesus is saying, you're going to be able to see this if you come and follow me. And that's a call for you and I today. You know, it's a reminder, maybe it's a bad joke, but uh, that Jesus is really the stairway to heaven. But I digress. So what I'm really trying to say here is that um, this idea of thin moments. And so theologians call it this, like a moment in time in place when you just feel like heaven and earth are really close, that they're colliding with one another. Maybe it's a moment in which you've sensed the presence of Jesus or the Holy Spirit. Maybe it's a moment that you look back on and you're like, there's no other way to explain this than heaven invaded into that moment. Well, that's what Jesus is talking about as this ladder that in the midst of whatever you and I are going through, he is there. He is with us. And he is that link, that relationship piece between you and I and God. And so I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know if you need a miracle right now. Um, but I'm guessing that you've had some times in your life where you've experienced these thin places and it points to Jesus. So I encourage you today with whatever you have going on, would you pause for just a moment and would you just remember the moments in which heaven and earth felt very real to you, the moments in which Jesus, you couldn't help but just know that he was um, a part of that moment. And so would you write that down and just reflect on that and allow that to guide you through this day. I wanna leave you with this. If you need a miracle in your life right now, if you just need a reminder that Jesus is with you, going all the way back to Genesis 28, verse 15, listen to this. Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised. Let that be so for you and I today. Thanks so much. Have a great day.